Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's not that you can't score on these two defenses. It's just that they make you earn every yard and certainly every point. Points are going to be at a premium. When you get an opportunity, you better take advantage of it against these two teams. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Jackson, North Carolina has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Anderson takes it from the six. Tackle at the 31-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on their own 39. He's taken down at the 41. That's a good gain of two yards. Third down. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. The offense couldn't get anything going that time. No, they couldn't. They really looked out of sync there, and they're going to have to make some adjustments to come back next time out. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's Crystal check out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. He showed a good burst there. Return for a gain of 10 yards. From their own 33 yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. On the catch, knocked out. Green picks up around five yards with that catch, and that'll keep the chain gang moving. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. He fights forward to about the 33. That makes it second and eight.
lets it fly. Washington is the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. And he throws it away. Coleman is the punter. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And he's tackled at the 28. That makes it second and two. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Second and eight. Ball on their own 38. Now he tries to buy some time. And he has it on the corner. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. down at about the 49. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked and they'll lose yards. Well here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 49. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. corner and down he goes at about the 15 yard line nothing tentative on that run at all he looked very determined and got the first down here's the eighth play of the series So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. We played one quarter. No score here. the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. the PAT. A nine-play, 81-yard drive. 
And they come away with seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. They line up to kick this one away. And down he goes at the 32. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's under pressure. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle at the 26. Jackson back deep to return. Jackson fields it at the 37. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia Tech up seven points. And now he's got room to run. Got the corner. And they get nice yardage on that run. Franklin comes away with five yards on the carry. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 49. Makes it to the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Gets out to about the 21. Georgia Tech is up a score. He scrambled. He decides to run with it. Slides down. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. He 
makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. This is the ninth play of this drive. The fullback ends up with the ball on the option and rumbles for an eight-yard gain. That brings in second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's taken down at the one-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. And that was the junior corner who will get credit with that tackle. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. And he converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 56 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 14 0. Nicholas takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. And they push him out at about the 47 yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 47. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He's in trouble. He fires right. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Now, that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. hit and taken down. North Carolina is going to take their first time out of the half. It's first and ten. Let's go, let's go. Ball on the 17. Let's go. The 10. And he's level at the 6. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Touchdown, UNC! And he adds the extra point. North Carolina ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia Tech is up seven. 
scrambling around. And they got him. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. From their own 21-yard line, second down. We played a half of football. The Yellow Jackets lead 14-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job on trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball of the 29. Out of bounds at the 44. So they get about four yards from play action. That makes it second and six. A little toss across the middle, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. First down. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. Brought down around the 44-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 31. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 31 yard line, first down. And he's hit immediately. Fires to his receiver, first down. First down. Regular, regular, regular. 
Nice run there. That'll bring up second and three. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Baylor in action over in Waco. And for Baylor, they look to continue their hot streak. The Bears lead 20 to 13. Meanwhile, the Tigers enter today's game ranked number 10 in the land. It felt as if the game rested on every play. And for Drew, he finishes with a pair of touchdown passes. The Tigers win it by three. All tied up at 14 in our game, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 23. his way to about the 32. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's to the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 50. First and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. He has some room. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. some time. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Mike 9, Mike 9. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Set. Easy, 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 easy. Going long. Caught with room to work. And a huge touchdown play. The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at some action from Waco. And for Baylor, their hot streak continues. Baylor wins it 27-13. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one, 21-14. Smith has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. 
Brought down at the 35-yard line. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. Gain 10 yards. First down. Tackle after a decent pickup. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. Loss of two by the halfback. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Carries the ball for a nice game. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Yellow Jackets with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. He fights forward to about the 49. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 49. Pitches it. He's got the corner. And they make the stop at the 38. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he is drilled at the 21.
Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for the of your ghosts. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Three, three, three. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets to about the five yard line. Gaining two yards. That brings up second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Tigers roll into today's game ranked third in the nation. And for Clemson, they remain red hot. And for Williams, his pass has found the end zone three times. The Tigers prevail by seven. Two touchdown ball game right now. 28 to 14 here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nicholas fields it at the 11. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Wants to go long and does. That close to being intercepted. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. From their own 39-yard line. Third down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. it to the middle of the field and he's taken down at about the 47 yard line and this is what power football is all about folks so a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter and that should do it Offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. When you're executing the option properly, you can almost plug anybody in and get a great result. Like the fullback taking the pitch for this huge run. The 10. Touchdown, Tech! And he adds the extra point. Smith is lined up to kick this one off. Nicholas fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. What a collision! Last 
last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all of these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. After review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires it out, and down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Get up, get up, 35. Get up. Ball on the 37. 20, Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 47. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Spikes the ball. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. the middle to his tailback and they got to him before he could get back to the line that makes it fourth and long Coleman to punt Fields it at the 30. He makes it to the 42-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He'll go down to one knee. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Georgia Tech 35, North Carolina 14. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.